The new movie, Lords of Dogtown, features Heath Ledger as a surf shop owner involved in the then-revolutionary world of skateboarding. Starting in the 70s, skateboarding took an entirely different spin after a group of Southern California kids called the Z-Boys got a hold of some boards and absolutely went crazy. Heath Ledger, good morning. Nice to see you, Heath. Good morning. So tell me a little bit about this group of, of people and, and put it into perspective for us in terms of what they did and how they revolutionized this sport. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know, I guess, you know, they were just a bunch of kids at first who, uh, uh, you know, were looking for an alternative uh, form of surfing. Right. When, when there was no waves, they, they grabbed their skateboards and they, they, they would ride the concrete as if it was a wave. Um, and they were a pretty hard scrabble group of kids from Venice, California, yeah. you know, pretty rough around the edges, right? Yeah, they were. They came from hard backgrounds, and um, but I, I, I guess it was. <clears throat> it's a lot to do with um, uh, it just. It, it, they created a form of expression. They really created an art form out of what was uh, considered like a, a, a version of a, the hula hoop. Right, know, back right. Then. Um, so yeah, they were the beginning of this revolution. Yeah. And, and given the fact that you're from Australia, Heath, and, yeah. and surfing and. and do you call it boarding? Yeah. I mean, our skateboarding are, are probably kind of right up your alley. You're 26 Six. years old yeah. now, so this trend had caught on big time as you were growing up. So, yeah, yeah. is that what attracted you about the, you to this movie and to this role? Sort of, this was part of your lifestyle already. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I, I guess you know, I, I have a built-in appreciation for surfing and skating, having come from Australia, um, but also for this period and and the people that the story. Uh, is about I you know I grew up reading about them I, I read Skateboarder magazine so I knew all about Stacey right. Peralta and Tony Alva and, and Jay Adams and uh, the whole yeah. posse yeah. and you, you played this uh, guy named Skip Emblem Emblem yeah. right Emblem. right yeah. Emblem yeah. and he's a surf shop owner right yeah and he's kind of the the senior member of the crew right was that a little weird so. for you to play kind of uh, an older character with a lot of young actors. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it was. Um, but I was lucky enough to work with such wonderful young actors. The, you know, the guys that played uh, uh, all the all the skaters, uh, all the legends. Um, Are they all new to the business? Because they did a terrific job. I fairly, think. but uh, you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't think so. I mean, they really are really professional and super enthusiastic, and they certainly were about making this story and making it so true to the time. And um, yeah, no, I, I couldn't have had a, a, a better time on I mean, the movie. Some of the stunts were pretty amazing, like the yeah. one in the pool. And I know that you didn't oh, yeah. do all your own stunts. At the same time, yeah. Keith, it must have. Did you have to do a certain amount of training before you embarked uh, well, on this project? I, I didn't really have to do that much. I, <laughs> I, I, I was really just surfing. I, I, I surf at the beginning of the movie, and I grew up surfing, so. There's like a little tiny moment where I'm surfing, but I didn't have to do any skateboarding. Um, and all these guys went to skate school basically for two months before the movie with Tony Alva and Stacey Peralta just um, took, took the guys down to pools and taught them how to ride swimming pools. And part of this is sort of how fame affects these guys too, sure. right, Pete? Yeah. And how they became sort of... I was going to say the bee's knees, but that really dates me, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah. they became incredibly popular and successful in kind of how mm. it affected the dynamics it, of the it group, also, right? The fame also took um, something that they considered to be just a, an, an art form and, and something that they did on an everyday basis. And, it, and they, it, fame kind of it, it added competition between them. Where they were once a group, they all get you know, torn apart. Meanwhile, the separate. director of this movie, Heath, is, is Catherine Hardwick, yeah. which is sort of funny. I don't know why I was surprised that there would be a female director, sure. sir, because it's sort of the ultimate buddy movie, and, and skateboarding isn't all that popular among women, unless yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. wrong here. So so what, what what was it like to, to be directed by her and by someone who did she, something as gritty as 13? Because that was a pretty intense movie. Yeah. Um, She's fantastic, and she she was she is and was and is perfect for for the job. She uh, she surfs herself. Um, she grew up around uh, you know all the characters in the movie. She grew up in Venice, uh, so she has a real appreciation for the time as well. And um, and the energy of the film, and I don't know if you've seen Thirteen, but even the energy of that film. I've seen parts of it. Yeah, like, it's, <laughs> it's a fantastic movie. It's, it's very intense and very disturbing. By yeah. the way, if you have a, I have <laughs> a thirteen, 13 year old daughter, yeah. so yeah. Well, they've used it actually in her oh. school to kind of talk about certain issues, Have which they? I think is great. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, good.
But um, so so this is really kind of a different kind of film for you, and I'm just curious what you're working on now. Is it something totally different? Because you've done, uh, you've really run the gamut, Heath. Yeah. Uh, right now, I'm not doing anything. I uh, since Dogtown, I, I've um, I kind of been off everywhere. I made a few different movies here and there, and. Uh, and now I'm just uh, taking some time off. Just, just chilling. I'm just going to live, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Heath Ledger, it's always good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for coming by, and the movie is Lords of Dogtown. Good luck with it. Yeah, thanks.